Good. Good. My. I wasn't. Can you see me? Yes. Here. No, it's no, perfect. It's, it's good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, All right. So my first question for you is, how are you celebrating the holidays? Um, celebrating with my family, and um, right now, or I'll just, I took the train from Oslo to Bergen today, so I just arrived. So I'm staying here with my parents. Like throughout the holidays, I guess. Mm -hmm. So I brought my niece. She's five, year, four years old. So it's been it's been eight hours on the train with <laughs> with her. That's been that's been uh, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, uh, but yeah, but it, I have a sister and she's got two kids. So it's it's basically just been my family and just yeah relaxing, I guess. Um, so I have a question for you, just because this is for um, a software site. Um, when you were on the train, um, what were some, did you, were you on your phone a lot? Were you on an iPad? Were you doing things to amuse yourself? Today, you mean, mm -hmm. like when I was on the train? Yes. Yeah. Um, you know what? I wasn't, but my, my niece was, so mm -hmm. I had to give everything to her. But, uh, yeah, like, normally I do that, yeah. But it's mostly, uh, it's mostly, like, the social media apps, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, I'm not very good at sitting down and playing a game or something. I feel like I have to do something constructive. So mm -hmm. it's mostly, like, news or uh, the apps you find for blogs that I follow mm -hmm. or um, what else. Um yeah, pictures and stuff like that. I don't know, uh, apps that can, uh, I don't know, ads or uh, what do you call it, like uh, picture editing stuff mm -hmm. or, yeah, yeah. So do you, so like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing, you know, but yeah. So, um, so what are your favorite social media apps? Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody just told me that I needed to start using Snapchat, and I, I don't like it. It's it's too much. So you have Instagram, you have all the other social media stuff you need to follow, and you need to update and all. So it's just too much. Mm -hmm. But so I stick to Instagram and post it on Instagram and link it to my Facebook, which is linked to Twitter and. And that just, you know, <laughs> keeps on going. So mm -hmm. that's enough for me, I guess. Yeah, uh, it's, it's important. So I like, but I really like Instagram because it's special and all. So it's yeah. Um, what for you makes a good Instagram photo? Um, uh, I guess it's a picture, but as long as it has a story to it, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a very very good picture but as long as uh, the picture has a story that, that is yeah mm -hmm. yeah um, I guess it depends on who's posting it mm -hmm. uh, if it's personal or if it's just a really good photograph I guess mm -hmm. do you like interacting with fans over social media yeah I mean, that's where you can actually meet them if you don't meet them out when you're playing a show. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, so oh, definitely, yeah, I do. And I try to follow up on like every message I get on my Facebook, or mm -hmm. and I, so mostly I'm, I'm yeah, I want to be a part of it, if you know what I mean, and connect with the fans, mm -hmm. the people that actually write to me, yeah. Okay, so I want to talk to you about the new EP. Um, it's beautiful and, um, and fun and sexy and all of that. Um, talk to me, because I thought it was really interesting, the idea of 
a, it being about a relationship from the beginning to the tragic end. Can you talk a little bit about that? <laughs> thing it's kind of sad but it's it's uh, I mean that's what started the whole story of the relationship thing because there's Don Richard or Richard I don't know how she wants to <laughs> mm -hmm. to to it, but uh, and there's a uh, little pain and there's uh, Morgan Phelan and the Norwegian guy on the Linne and every and um, each one of them all wrote about the relationship, you know, mm -hmm. our relationship. So I thought that was kind of interesting, and like each in a different way, but it was sort of, everything was sort of like within the same concept of it. Mm -hmm. So the way we put it together is sort of like a story all the way through. So, um, yeah, I mean, like writing about a relationship be kind of like a cliche thing but mm -hmm. I feel like it's not mm -hmm. it's because it's kind of tragic sad it's uh, I mean little pain is on it so it's, mm -hmm. it's got to be sad <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh, yeah I don't know what more to say but uh, yeah I think it ended up quite good without mm -hmm. like a cliche mm -hmm. um, what can you tell people in America about what the winter is like in Norway for people who've never experienced it. What is it like? Oh, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's it's uh, the thing about Norwegian winters is is maybe not because I've I've uh, lived in New York for the last or for period it's you know uh, this year. So I just got back from New York, and New York was actually colder than what it is here right now. Mm -hmm. So, and New York is, I don't know, chillier in some way mm -hmm. than actually here. Because here you care for the winter, and, and just like the winter is much longer. I guess it starts in October, November-ish, and it lasts through March, like really, really cold. But it, mm -hmm. it's... Uh, I don't know it's it's just cold and mm. um, like go to the mountains here. It's just like uh, it, it can get down to minus I don't know in Fahrenheit, but that would be like minus twenty five degrees Celsius, and I mean that's like pretty cold. Mm -hmm. And even Oslo, where I live, is can get down to like a minus twenty. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. And where I'm from, where I'm at, at right now. Um, constantly raining actually. Bergen is known for like a city that you can probably google like how many days in a year but it's, it's it's a lot of rain and it's a lot of gray so I mean like uh, the music scene in Bergen is quite mellow I guess. Mm -hmm. Everybody talks about the music scene in Bergen and so it's sort of like and why it's so mellow but I think it's maybe weather connected I don't know. Do you think that that's had an impact on your music? In the la affects my, my, my music in a, in, in a way because it's kind of like a, a cold funk thing. I mm -hmm. think. 
Not the DP though, that's warm of itself, yeah. My, in the last decade, so many famous bands came out of Sweden. And mm. I'm curious, what would you like Americans to know about Norway's music scene? Maya, do you use um, things like Spotify or um, or any of the other, you know, Pandora, any of the other music discovery sites? Yeah, I do. I use uh, Spotify a lot. Mm-hmm. I do. And uh, we also have a streaming service, almost the same as Spotify here in Norway, uh, which is called Wim. Mm-hmm. And that's like, a, it's a Norwegian thing, but it's all over Europe now, I guess, as well. And, um, but uh, yeah, I do. I find it uh, important for my music to be on it because it's it's a way of discovering new music and it's very easy for people to, and a lot of people use that. So, mm-hmm. um, definitely, I do. Mm-hmm. Maya, and you meant... So, yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, you mentioned some of the news sites that you like to read on your phone. Um, Th- that that uh, also have apps. Could you tell me some of the news sites or blogs that you read? Uh, I read The Fader. Mm-hmm. And, and I like their app. It's very, you get, you know, the stories and all. It's kind of like, um, no, it's just an easy access to the blog, actually. Mm-hmm. So it's, and also Vibe. Mm-hmm. And, the spin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and but I also have like two phones. I have like one iPhone and I have uh, a HTC as well. Mm-hmm. So both Android and Apple. So and I kind of like the Android app better now. I didn't before, but I don't know it's just uh, a lot of stuff. It's I don't know. It, uh, it just seems quicker in a way, and so mm-hmm. much. Um, it just seems better in a way mm-hmm. but it, it, there's a lot of apps that aren't available uh, for Android mm-hmm. uh, I guess no yeah it's better apps at Apple but uh, a lot, or more apps uh, mm-hmm. for Apple than mm-hmm. Apple. are there Norwegian apps that Americans are not aware of that are cool Word feud? Word feud? Word feud, I think. Yeah. I think it's word feud. And I think he's Norwegian. It's just like a... He sent one... Uh, it's a game. And, and uh, it's like Scrabble. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, Maya, um, how did you become, I mean, you get compared to a lot of, you know, the Minneapolis funk, like the Prince, the Sheila E., the Vanity, 
How did you first become aware of that kind of music? So, what, which Prince CD was it? That was the compilation, you know, the, uh, uh, what's it called? The, it was three CDs. Mm-hmm. Of, uh, yeah, so it was number two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, um, it had songs like Head. Mm-hmm. And, lyrics that I don't even know if my parents actually knew what I was singing about when I was that young. <laughs> but that was, that was all I remember. Like those, those were, even though I couldn't speak English, you know, mm-hmm. those were the songs that I knew. So. <laughs> um, and tell me, my final question for you, um, when are we going to see you in America? Mm-hmm. So that's not the first confirmed show in 2014. Mm-hmm. So, but I'll be uh, over in New York in February mm-hmm. and probably a few gigs there before South by. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of like living in Brooklyn and Oslo and mostly in Brooklyn, but a little bit in Oslo. So I spent like almost all the year there so mm-hmm. going and forth. So I had a residency at piano at Lower East for a while. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think like I'm going to do a few more gigs in this Very Perfect. Perfect. Maya, thank you so much for speaking with us. And happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Okay. Take care. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye.